Hello everyone and welcome to my unboxing of the Emu Black from ECU Master. This ECU has been around for a while now and it seems to be becoming quite popular. You may see it around on Instagram and Facebook and I'm going to take you around the ECU, show you what it's like, show you what you get in the box and what you will need to buy going forward. We'll start out with the actual ECU itself. In the box, as you can see, you get the ECU itself. Now this is amazing. If you've ever worked with an ECU before, some of you may know, like the Link G4, for example, they're quite big PCBs, but this, this is about the size of a cell phone. If I put it up to my face, as you can see, it's, it's maybe the size of a Galaxy Note or something of that nature. The ECU itself has a map sensor built in. This is a four bar map sensor, so you can read up to three bars worth of boost. The ECU uses a micro USB to connect, and then it also uses these two Delphi style plugs. You get the connectors in the box itself and these plugs are really easy to work with. They have a little plastic tab on them that you just pull out, locate the plug onto the ECU and just push the plastic tab down. These are really nice plugs to work with. The whole ECU itself is waterproof and once you have the plugs in, the plugs are also waterproof too. You also get the other plug in the box. You get a micro USB cable. You also get some terminals. There's some different size terminals depending on what wire you're using and each hole itself on the connector is a different size to allow you to put in the different size terminals. So you can't really get it wrong. You also get in the box a laminated card with all of the pinouts and it also explains how to wire up the Bosch LSU 4.2 or 4.9 sensor. These sensors are really good and the fact that it has a built-in wideband controller means that you don't have to do as much wiring and you don't have to worry about having to buy additional controllers. You also get some blanking pins in here and these allow you to continue making sure that the seal is waterproof on these connectors. Finally, you get some pull-up resistors and these are designed for you to use in line with any sensors which may need additional resistors to enable them to work properly. Okay, so that's everything in the box. What are my initial thoughts? So initially, like I say, the ECU is very small. It's got these nice cooling fins on and a little mounting hole here for you to mount it to the car. The ECU does come with a full warranty. I believe this is dependent on what country you're in as to what the warranty entails. I am in Europe and so this warranty is designed for European citizens. The fact that it's got a built-in wideband controller I also really like. It means that Wiring becomes really simple. You can run everything straight from the ECU. You don't have to worry about additional controllers. However, if you do wish to run more than one Lambda sensor, you will need to buy an additional controller, such as the AEM Yugo with CAN bus. You can run the Lambda sensors with CAN bus, and that leads me on to my next point, CAN bus. This has CAN bus built in, and ECU Master also makes some additional products which you can use and they all use CAN bus, things like dashes. They also have a power management unit, which allows you to remove the fuse box and relays. And the ECU also has a serial channel built into it. The serial channel can be used for data loggers, which I will move on to in the video. The EMU Black can support up to eight injectors and six ignition channels. This means that you can run a straight six fully sequential, and you can also run up to a 16 cylinder car. The Emu Black supports three primary trigger inputs and two cam inputs. It also supports up to two knock sensors and has a wide band control system built into it. It also supports variable valve timing and lift. So if you're running something like Vanos or VTEC, you're covered. It has two boost control tables built into it for open and closed loop boost control. It has a built in drive by wire controller so that you can run direct to the ECU if you're running drive-by-wire. It's got traction control and launch control as well as other motorsport strategies built in. And it also supports engine protection features such as oil pressure and oil temp protection. Another great thing about this ECU is that it has two exhaust gas temperature sensor K-line channels built into it so you don't have to run any additional modules for the first two sensors that you want to run. Okay, so that's the ECU out of the way. So what else have I bought for 
the Nissan Silvia S15. Well, I have here a plug and play harness. Now, some of you may want to just chop the old harness off, put new wires in, and that's great. I wanted to try and keep the car as clo close enough to stock that if there was any problems, I could put the old ECU back in and diagnose those issues. In the box, you get a set of instructions, the plug and play adapter itself, and some pre-terminated leads. Now, the great thing about this is, again, it uses the same Delphi style connectors, so they're nice and easy to put on, nice and quick as you can see, I've done that, and that is a nice, firm, secure connection. This is the 64 pin. Some Nissans come with a 72 pin. And the fact that it comes with a pre-terminated lead is great too. It means that you don't have to worry about having to wire it all up and, and mess around with that. These instructions that come with the plug and play adapter are for an EMU Classic. If you are using an EMU Black, you will need to reference your pinout card that came with the EMU Black and reference it up to the different inputs and outputs on the adapter. The adapter will also require some configuration in the form of soldering on the board itself inside the CNC case. I will go into that in further detail when I discuss how to build the harness in a later video. Okay, so that's the plug and play adapter out of the way. That's quite simple. And I'm gonna move on to the final ECU Master product that I have purchased, the EDL-1. This is the data logger that I was talking about. It's quite a nice little unit. As you can see, it is very, very small. And if we compare it to the actual ECU itself, as you can see, it is tiny. What is quite nice is that it comes with an SD card in the box and the SD card just pushes in and clicks in there like so. It also has some indicator lights on the front for you to be able to tell if the unit is powered on. And it has a built-in Bluetooth controller so you can connect to Android tablets and use the ECU Master app to monitor your vehicle. It comes with a shielded harness, which is quite nice. It's already pre-made, so you don't have to worry about that. And you get a decent amount of cable as well. And finally, it comes with the connector as well. And this is all a shielded connector, which is great. Okay, I'm just gonna quickly talk you through what you're going to need to buy on top of this ECU. Out of the box, the ECU won't automatically work with some vehicles. I have a Nissan S15 which uses the SR20 DET and the SR20 DET uses a map sensor to calculate airflow. With the EMU Black, I'm going to be using speed density and as such, I need an intake air temperature sensor. This is a Bosch sensor, it is an open element sensor and these retail at about 30 to 40 UK pounds depending on where you buy them from. They're really good sensors and depending on your location in the world, you may use a Bosch sensor or you may want to use a GM sensor. I also have a Bosch LSU 4.9 wideband oxygen sensor. These sensors can be quite pricey and it depends where you go, but don't be scared by the price. You may see cheaper ones and they tend to be knockoffs and fakes, so I try and stay with a genuine Bosch if possible. If you are running forced induction, you may also want to buy a boost control solenoid. I'm going to be using the Mac three port solenoid for my build. You may need a four port or you may wish to run a Peerberg boost solenoid. Some vehicles already come with all of these things that I've just shown and so you'll need to do some market research and work out what your car will and won't need. For the typical car out there wanting to run an aftermarket ECU, you will find that this should be sufficient enough. On the way, I've also got some vacuum line which I'll need to run from the intake manifold to the ECU itself. And I also have some additional wiring so that I can make up a nice wiring harness for all of these things that I've bought. Okay guys, I hope you've enjoyed this unboxing video. I know it's been quite brief. If you want to look at the ECU Master EMU Black and all of its features, I will put a link to the product down in the description below. Leave me a comment, let me know what you think. I personally am looking really looking forward to using this ECU. I think it's gonna be a game changer in the market. Like I said, this. This ECU priced in at 850 UK pounds. I believe it's retailing at about a thousand US dollars. And if you compare that to a lot of other ECUs on the market, you'll see that the input and output functionality is excellent. Okay guys, that's all I've got for you today. Thank you very much for watching. Cheers.